What's up, this is Media Maniacs, this is Mason, and this is the Nintendo guy, <laughs> Brendan. Yes, I am Nintendo guy. And I'm Mike. Xbox guy, Mike. <laughs> but he's, we're doing a Nintendo video, yeah, so... Yeah, he's just here to look good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what do you got in store for Alright, so, um, Nintendo did a great job this year. They weren't, they didn't actually go to E3, I mean, they are actually there, but they didn't have a, a real press conference. They had a digital event, which uh, I actually thought was fantastic, and it wouldn't have been the same if they hadn't done that. Um, if you haven't seen the video, please go watch the beginning of it, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can... I was just about to say that. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. easy. Just make oh, it easy. Yeah. Um, it's great. They got Robot Chicken to do an intro for them. They poked fun at the fans, but in a good way. And uh, just it was just really awesome. Um, so I want to start by talking about Amiibo. Do you guys know what that is? Amiibo. Well, you watched it, I so know you know. But you have no idea. I, yeah. Okay, so it's basically Skylanders, uh, Disney Infinity, uh, but Nintendo figures. So... That right there, fantastic. Right. Yeah, great idea. Well, I think. I I, yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I don't like Infinity. Well, I, I haven't played any at all. or Skylander. I haven't so. played either of them, but I know that everyone that's a Nintendo fan is going to want Nintendo figurines. Well, I think if I bought the figurines, it would just be as a collector's item. Right. Exactly. But I that's wouldn't take them out of the box. But um, so I'll explain though a little bit why they're going to be cool. So uh, it's also been rumored that Super Smash Brothers for the Wii is going to integrate these amiibo and uh, Nintendo officially confirmed that at their digital event um, there's so basically you'll have your little figure you'll put it on the gamepad because there's a sensor and then that character will go into the game I don't know if you have to pay if you have to have the figure to, ha to have the character in the game that kind of would suck um, you, you probably will yeah you have to buy but it. Yeah. well let me point out the 3ds version comes out October um, the NFP or hold on, just before we started recording this, I heard that it was delayed. Yes, it was going to be summer, this oh. summer. Oh, so it's so delayed it was until delayed October? until October. Okay, I don't even know yep. what the release date is. Mm -hmm. I just heard that it's delayed. Yeah. So the 3DS version is coming out in October. Originally, it said that they said it was going to come out in the summer. The Wii U version comes out uh, holiday season, so that didn't get delayed. Um, but the figures don't come out until the Wii U one comes out. So you'll have your 3DS game, and you won't have the figures, so you'll have all the characters. I need, so to, get, I need to get a 3DS because yeah, I, I see people playing it all the time, and I'm like, oh. mm -hmm. I'm like sitting on my lunch going, uh, mm -hmm. It's cool. Um, 3DS is really great. Um, so anyway, I don't think that you'll have to have the figure to unlock the character, but what it does do for you is they've got this system set up where, uh, let's say, for me, I love playing a Samus because I'm a veteran. Um, so you play a Samus, you, they've introduced a leveling system where you can level up your character. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, they only showed like a really brief screenshot of it. But well, it's probably XP. Right, yeah. yeah. And, and I think that it comes with perks and stuff so you can, like, I don't know, Samus could get a stronger missile. Or like upgrade your missile to a super missile. Or like that's that's part of the actual Metroid game. So, so you do that. You level your character, and then you can upload that data into your amiibo figure, and then you can take that figure to your friend's house and then put it into their game. And then kick their ass. And then play them with your stats, or they can just fight your your character. You don't even have to play as that yeah. character. They can fight a computer player of that character with those stats. Right. So that's cool, kind of. Right? Well, yeah, Maybe. that's, that's pretty cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of... I'm into it. Like, I want I want to get a Wii U. Because yeah. I think after today, it's time to get a Wii U. Well, like, yeah. Because the, cause the new uh, Smash Brothers and everything, mm -hmm. that's going to be... And, uh, and another cool. particular game that we're going to get into, uh, which we might as well do now. <sighs> Open World Zelda. God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You remember the predictions? Yes. I said, give me something to make me... That makes me buy Wii U. Yeah. This will make me buy yes. Wii U. If it looks yes. like that. If, if it's what it is, if I'm going to buy Wii U. If it's like yeah. Skyrim. It doesn't even have to be as big as Skyrim. If it's like half of Skyrim. Oh, yeah. It'll just be fantastic. Yeah. Mario Maker? Okay, yes. Do they, so, like, I would think... Uh, so, what's Mario Maker? Mario Maker is game for Wii U that you make Mario games. 
Yeah, and yeah. it's... So Chad doesn't... You have Chad, the option. I don't like that one. All right. But here's, here's the great thing about this, is th hopefully that means no more Mario games for a while. Because you can just have... Anyone can make any Mario game, and you can just... And you can play Mario forever. Ten different. Eight bit or three D or yes. um, whatever that is. The, the, the new one, the new Mario that sucks. I don't like it. Though. <laughs> Let me tell you that I don't I, like I, the new Mario. I love the eight bit Mario. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And I, I want something, just like a different camera angle, because I played Mario Galaxy, and that uh, that blew my mind because yeah. it was just the controls mm -hmm. and just how it was able. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, you know. I bet you they're working on Mario Galaxy three. And that's probably Gosh. what they're going to come out with next, but for now, Mario no, Maker going is going to hold a lot of people over um, for our, the next Mario game. I th I'm probably not going to get Mario Maker, because I'm not big into Mario, except for Mario Kart. And you're a but, Nintendo guy. This is, well, right, I don't see, get that. I think Mario's a little kind of generic. Go ahead, send me hate mail. Um, but Mario Maker looks like a really good game, uh, not for me, but it's definitely going to be good for a lot of people, and a lot of people are probably going to want to get a Wii U just to have well, Mario Maker. Yeah, will they use a gamepad to make? Yes, that? the gamepad, oh. you like use it to select what you want, you drag it where you want it, yeah. it's like you couldn't so like play trials. this game. So, what yeah. I think is awesome, when you make giving the gamepad to someone else, while they're playing, let them make, make, make a, game a level for you. Make a game it? for you. Yeah. So, in this case, you're going to have a multiplayer game, but well, I'm gonna do it if, you, if one, trust, one of your okay. friends is innovative and imaginative, oh, just man. give them the gamepad. Let them make the game yeah, for you. Right? Yeah. Explain. Or I'm sure they'll have a download <clears throat> system where you can download other people's games. The, the one thing that appeared in the demo they showed in, in, the, in, in the digital event, uh, where they, blo uh, they blocked the castle. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. awesome because he, he wasn't playing. He was going to the, to the castle and then they blocked it for him. Yeah. He couldn't go. Right, but he still got to the flag, so he finished the level, yeah, but he, he just couldn't get into the, the castle. castle. Oh, gotcha. So it, it was kind of a... Was he, was he still walking? Yeah, he, yeah, was, he was still going like and that. And then he kind of sat down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I gave up. Yeah, it was fine. Um, <laughs> but you said there's no, there, there's no Mario games coming out, but isn't there... I heard a thing about Mario Party 10. Okay, yeah, so um, they didn't really say much about Mario Party 10. Well, okay, I guess that's not right. They did. Uh, the big thing that they announced that's different uh, and new for Mario Party 10 is that you can use the gamepad to play as Bowser and to just fuck with everybody else. Oh, that's man. Cool. Yeah. There's going to be some... Oh, that's going to be a good yeah. match play. So, uh, that's cool. Um, another thing that Nintendo talked about was Hyrule Warriors, which is the um, Dynasty Warriors crossover kind of thing. I've never played Dynasty Warriors, um, but it looks really good. Um, it's uh, yeah. not like really like a story game, I don't think. You just kind of yeah. do levels and kill stuff, but it. I was watching demos and it looks really good and I'll probably mm -hmm. get it and have a lot of fun with it. And you don't just play as Link. You can play as, um, they've announced previously, Impa, which I think is from... Ocarina of Time, I hope. Hmm. <laughs> I hope I'm not wrong. Um, I think she was uh, Kid Zelda's bodyguard. Um, and then they announced today you can play as Zelda, of course, and Midna from Twilight Princess. Did you guys play that? No. All right, whatever. Uh, apparently you're the one in the game. Okay, that's yeah. why you're the All right, guy. Um, so moving on. They announced a new IP called Splatoon. Is that what the painting and yeah painting? that yeah. one looks awesome? Yes. Like a, so I, right right before we made this video, I saw the trailer for it, and yeah, that mm. just yeah. how you're able to dive in the paint and just yes. oh man. So I was a little iffy at first. Um, I really like that they that Nintendo is making a new shooter because shooters are really popular and Nintendo doesn't have a lot of them, and it's also I, I believe it's just a multiplayer shooter, so it's basically. Call of Duty, but with paint. So it's not <laughs> graphic. There's no blood. Right. Well, unless you have red paint. Like you want to put it that way. <laughs> but there's there's cooler things to it though that make it a lot different, like swimming in yeah. in your own paint to get to move. But quicker. my my question is, if somebody is swimming in the paint and you shoot them, does that? It, you can't. Really. You can also you can also hide in the paint. I'm just gonna do so, that the whole time. So it's like you can. Hey, like, can you shoot up? 
Uh, you can pop up and then shoot. Oh, okay. So like, I was if gonna, someone's I was gonna walking say, I'm gonna around, hide and paint just... yeah, you can pop up behind them and then shoot them. You can also use the gamepad to see the map, and you can see uh, at the end of a match, whoever has the most paint on the ground is the one that wins. Oh. And so if you you're looking at the gamepad and you see um, the, where the paint is distributed, and it it's right. good to know whether or not you're winning. But it's four on four, isn't it? Yes, it's four on four. Okay. And and you can also teleport to your other teammates just by tapping where they are on the map, and then it just that's awesome. Throws you to them, um, which is hopefully, hopefully, that's a cool hopefully idea. no yeah, damage. That's a cool of course. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully it will work out the way they want it to be. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, Nintendo announced a lot of other games, um, which is fantastic. I feel like most years they don't announce a lot of like really good first party stuff. Like we so this year we got uh, Smash Zelda. Uh, we got something new, Splatoon. We got a Mario game. They also announced Kirby. Uh, it looked like a sequel to Canvas Curse, which was on the DS years ago. Um, Captain Toad. The first. That one is okay. The first I mean, Toad I'm... game. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a dungeon uh, puzzle game. It looked really cool. Well, um, Brendan's probably gonna do a Let's Play <laughs> by himself on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yarn Yoshi. And uh, Lego Batman 3 is coming to Wii U. I, it's probably coming to everything else, too, oh, yeah. but um, they, they just showed it at the Wii. At the Wii Digital how that, how'd that look? It looked really good. Batman was in a space suit, and he was in space. And, and, and Superman's just next to him, you know, just chilling. Kind of yeah, weird. And he's just he's like, just, hey, he's like, how are we human? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they made a reference to the, the movie, which was really funny. The, uh, the Lego movie. Oh, good. Um, so watch that video to catch the reference. Um, Which we'll post in the link. Yes. If you find so, a reference, put out a comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they also announced uh, Bayonetta 2. I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to be honest. Um, That's a platinum game. I'm. A uh, platinum game. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably get it because it's cool and it's exclusive. Um, and it comes with Bayonetta just in it. The it's, original it's, one? Yeah, the original. Okay, yeah. It's both games on one disc. Yeah, that's just, cool. yeah. You just you just yeah. get. I'll play um, that song. Yeah. And then they announced uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, which yeah, I don't know a lot about. I know that the original game was like really, they didn't make a lot of them, and it's kind of a, a really special. Like thing, collector. Like yeah, it's like a collector's oh. item to have that game. Um, this is I assume a sequel. It's some sort of RPG kind of game. It looks really cool. Uh, so I'll probably play that too. Um, and then they kind of just threw in Star Fox at the end. Yeah, he was playing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, Miyamoto at the very end was playing on a blurry screen, and it even though it was blurry, you could tell it was Star Fox. <laughs> they haven't said anything more really that I've seen about the Star Fox other than it's coming in 2015. Uh, which is really exciting because I don't think there's been one since Star Fox Command, which was probably, but like early 2000, yeah. probably 2006, ish. That's just a guess. Um, yeah. What about the game, that shooter game uh, from Valhalla? It's uh, Devil's Third. Devil's Third. I don't yeah. really know a lot about this game, um, but it's third party. Or second party it's or whatever party. they're calling it's, it. Uh, it's a, no, it's not first it's party. It's an exclusive. It's going to be an exclusive. Right, but it's uh, not first party Nintendo. Yeah. Second party. Yeah. So um, we, that's great news. Uh, a lot of the games they're announcing, they're all really great, but they're all first party, um, except for Batman. <laughs> um, yeah. But so it's made uh, by the guy that uh, developed uh, Ninja Gaiden, which is a uh, his uh, name is Ita. All right. Itagaki. 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 Um, he's cool though. He's cool. So okay. I haven't played Ninja Gaiden, but I'm pretty sure it's awesome because it's about ninjas. So, <laughs> all right. So that's uh, that's good. Um, so overall, Nintendo focused a lot on Wii U, which I think is uh, a really good move on their part because oh, yeah. they've got to sell that. Um, I'm ha I'm just happy they are implementing the gamepad a little bit, yes. a, a lot more. Yes. Because yes. there's games right now you're just like, oh. Right. Yeah. Like, what was the. Uh, Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong. No gamepad. At all. Yeah. You I like Donkey Kong. I mean, when I saw it and I played it a little bit, I liked it. But yeah, well, but, the, but there's times where you can you... play it on something else. Yeah. You yeah. Have, if you're going to play a game on Wii U, you're going to play it because of that gamepad. Absolutely. So, um, the, the awesome thing about the conference 
that I wish everyone would do that I talked about earlier is they only show demos. Nintendo showed only demos. They didn't show mm -hmm. uh, trailer. Even uh, well, uh, even the Legend of the, the Zelda, the, the open world Zelda, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a little bit of gameplay in it, the, it, it kind of moved like mm -hmm. the game. It wasn't just yes. a trailer. That's it. And yeah, th that's awesome. And um, when they introduced the new character to Smash Brothers, um, it was kind of uh, the, the 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 scene was awesome. It's like it's an anime scene. Mm -hmm. it looks like oh, an yeah. anime scene with Zelda. The, the anime it was looked really cool. It looked great. I yeah. hope that that anime scene wasn't just for the digital event. I really hope that it's actually in the, in game. the game. Like yeah. I hope that there's silly little cutscenes with anime Smash yeah. Bros characters. That would be really awesome. That'd be yeah. Um, Where's Metroid? Okay, yeah, so uh, let's talk a little bit about Metroid. Because Metroid wasn't wow. there. Wow, he got a little giddy there. <laughs> Shut up. I it's like me when I saw Grand Theft Auto was coming for Xbox. I was like, ah! So Nintendo didn't talk at all about Metroid, besides showing Samus's figurine, which was awesome. It was really cool. Well, it could have been cooler. She was just standing. She could have been in like an action pose. That'd be cool. Um, maybe they'll change that. Um, here's my thought though. They're making all these figures. They're gonna have them work for multiple games. They said, like for example, all these figurines are obviously gonna work with Smash Bros. They're also having them work with Mario Party 10, which I hope means you can play as Star Fox in Mario Party 10 or Smash or something. So they're making these figures. They're gonna use them across multiple games like Mario Party um, and other things. My thought is. They can't just make a Samus figure or uh, something else that doesn't have another game for it. Right. So with that met with that Samus figure, it's not just going to be for Smash Bros. They've got to come out with a Metroid game sometime to use that figure in. Uh, they've got the new Star Fox game coming out. There's going to probably be a Star Fox figure for Smash Bros. that you can also use with that game. So my hope, Metroid announcement E3 2015... Probably. Maybe. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe within the next days. You don't know what's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. They they can they can announce anything they want at any time. Um, but I really want Metroid Prime Four on Wii U and Metroid Dread on uh, 3DS. That's what I'm hoping for. Anyone I'm just else? looking for some good let's plays, man. <laughs> that Mario Party is gonna yes. be fun. Mario Party. I don't know. There's just, a there's uh, yeah, a let's play. fun. Yeah. It's just, that's well, what yeah. it is. It's, it's fun. It's yeah. fun games. That's what they want. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I think that about does it for the Nintendo uh, yeah. video. Mm -hmm. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe. Link will be in the description below. For but for games. Nintendo Boy, we're putting it over his face. Yes. Yeah. That's subscribe right. to subscribe. my face. That epic mustache and goatee combo. <laughs> um, it's like Mario. Oh, cool. <laughs> we'll get you in the. It jiggles house. when I drive. Uh, I like yogurt sometimes. <laughs> what? <laughs>